بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس ان دی نیو ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین ایڈ ایڈیشنل نوڈس ان یور ایگزسٹنگ ای ٹی ایس کلسٹر سو ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو آئی ہیو آلریڈی شوڈ یو گائز ہاؤ یو کین سیٹ اپ دا ای ٹی ایس کلسٹر تھرو دا ٹیرا فارم plus the EKS CTL utility. So I've already deployed the cluster to make sure I've saved the extra bit of time for deploying the EKS cluster. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys the additional script which I've created. So we are going to update this script and, and this script is uh, already available for you guys in my repository which Uh, is the Terraform version 12 QuickBooks 2018. So this is the script. So uh, the update with regard to the script is that um, is that you have to provide the cluster name, region, version. Currently, uh, in today's date, the uh, EKS 1.15 version uh, is supported by the EKS CTL utility, although uh 1.16 uh, is now available in today's date so uh, what we are going to update in this script that um, we are going to update uh, the arn of the uh, existing nodes let me show you that so if you if i navigate to this and the already existing role is attached to this particular node so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and open it in another tab. And what I'm going to do is to simply uh, copy the ARN and instance uh, profile ARN. So I'm going to first copy the role ARN and I'm going to update uh, this. So uh, I've already deployed the cluster with the EKS CTS shell script. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, you can watch those. Uh, but what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to simply update the additional node group uh, to existing cluster. I'm going to simply add the ARN. This is the instance role ARN. So I'm going to simply remove the existing one and I'm going to put this value. Right click and paste. So uh, this is the ARN uh, Amazon resource name and I'm going to now update the instance profile ARN. So I'm going to simply remove this instance profile ARN. And I'm going to copy the instance profile ARN. Simply copied it and I'm going to simply paste it here. This is the instance profile ARN and so I paged it. And the next uh, thing we are going to update is the security groups. So let me update the security groups. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do is to simply update the security uh, group ID. So if you navigate to the security group, there are two security group attached, you see comma here so i'm going to right click open it another tab and also i'm going to right click and open this in another tab so uh, this is the security group uh, simply i'm going to copy the security group id copy this and i'm going to simply paste it here and also I'm going to copy the security group ID and I'm going to paste it here. 
so these are the four things uh, which you can which uh, you should update and further you if you want to uh, let me just undo and again simply put it the security group ID and the other thing uh, is up uh, if you want uh, with regard to the volume size so uh, I'm going to use the 32 GB and the desired capacity is going to be uh, 3 and the instance type is going to be T3A medium so uh, these are the setting uh, that is uh, required and you can also upgrade the tag as well so uh, simply I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this script so these are the only four changes uh, required uh, from our end to make sure that uh, uh, we update our existing cluster. So uh, what it is going to do, uh, it is going to update your existing cluster and it is going to add uh, a new node group and in that particular new node group, uh, it is going to launch uh, three new uh, worker nodes. Let me navigate to the EC2 section and show you guys. Uh, currently, uh, in my existing cluster, I have T2 medium and two nodes are available. If I refresh it, so uh, currently it is not deployed. So you see uh, uh, the minimum and the maximum node I set uh, is three. So what it is going to do? After a short while, uh, if everything is successful, it is going to launch three additional nodes. Let me refresh it. And uh, it is going to launch uh, three additional nodes. And then we will uh, check uh, with the command that uh, we will have uh, five nodes uh, cluster. Uh, and also, I'm going to show you the command to see the new node group so for that uh, you have to simply uh, copy this command and I'm going to paste it here so ekct will get node groups cluster and you have to provide the cluster name but before that I have to check it is it deploying or not yes you see uh, everything is working fine and you see the tagging is different now it says the cloud geeks uh, ca eks ng1 worker node so three uh, different nodes t3 a medium are now deployed and these are going to be part of our cluster existing cluster so uh, this is uh, how easy uh, it is if you um, follow my tutorials to update your existing uh, cluster I mean by uh, adding additional nodes and you see everything is done successfully I'm going to copy that command and this is my cluster name so it will show me the uh, node group you see uh, let me just zoom in a bit okay so uh, this is the max size uh, you see desired capacity and max size is three and this is my t3a medium no new, new uh, nodes uh, group new node group are part of my existing cluster and if i do kubectl get nodes so it will give me uh, it will show me that i have five nodes in my cluster so this is how uh, you can add additional nodes to your existing cluster hopefully you like the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the latest videos and i will provide you the link of this uh, script as well so please make sure you watch this video till end have a nice day thank you very much